Investors in fixed income securities, such as bonds, face a number of risks, including interest rate risk, credit risk, and reinvestment risk. One way to mitigate these risks is to carefully consider the yield to worst of a bond before investing. The yield to worst is a measure of the lowest potential return an investor could receive on a bond. It takes into account the possibility that the issuer could call the bond before maturity, which would result in a lower return than expected. For example, if a bond has a yield to maturity of 5% but a yield to worst of 3%, the investor would earn 3% if the bond is called early. To understand how the yield to worst works, it's important to understand how bonds work. A bond is a debt instrument that pays a fixed interest rate, known as the coupon rate, to the investor until the bond matures. When the bond matures, the investor receives the principal, or face value, of the bond. However, there are circumstances under which the issuer of the bond can call the bond, or redeem it before maturity. This is typically done when interest rates have fallen, and the issuer can refinance the bond at a lower rate. If the bond is called, the investor receives the face value of the bond plus any interest payments up to the call date. This means that the investor will receive a lower return than expected if the bond is called before maturity. The yield to worst takes into account the possibility of a call and calculates the lowest potential return an investor could receive if the bond is called. To do this, the yield to worst considers several factors, including the coupon rate, the call price, and the call date. The call price is the price at which the issuer can redeem the bond, and the call date is the earliest date on which the bond can be called. For example, let's say an investor is considering two bonds, bond A has a yield to maturity of 5%, and a yield to worst of 3%, while bond B has a yield to maturity of 4%, and a yield to worst of 2%. On the surface, bond A may seem like the better investment because it has a higher yield to maturity. However, when considering the yield to worst, Bond B is the better choice because it has a lower potential downside. To calculate the yield to worst, investors can use a financial calculator or an online tool. However, it's important to note that the yield to worst is only an estimate and is subject to change based on market conditions and the actions of the issuer. Investors should also be aware that the yield to worst is not the same as the yield to call. The yield to call is the return an investor would receive if the bond is called on the first possible date. This is typically higher than the yield to worst, which takes into account the possibility of the bond being called at any time before maturity. The yield to worst is an important metric for investors to consider when evaluating fixed income securities. It takes into account the possibility of the bond being called before maturity, which can result in a lower return than expected. By carefully considering the yield to worst, investors can mitigate some of the risks associated with fixed income investing and make more informed investment decisions.